Wow. Is it appropriate to start the end of year report with the word wow? We are at the end of 2020 and just being here is a good reason to be happy, excited, amazed, and most certainly dumbfounded at the wonder of God. We start the year with excitement and anticipation. The church focus for the year was prayer and evangelism. The theme for January to March was when we pray. And the word from the Lord to us was, this is the year of manifestation. With that kind of force behind us, we were eager to get out of the starting block and we did, but with unexpected, unprecedented, and for many, the unheard of happen. It turned up right at our doorstep. This was not just a visitor, but a long-term company that came to disrupt, change, and overturn our promises. At least that is what we thought. Somewhere in early 2020, we heard about the coronavirus, COVID-19. It was somewhere out there and eventually it was right here. The word pandemic became part of our normal vocabulary and the new norm was how we gave expression to our daily lifestyle. Every country on the face of the earth was affected economy, health, free movement, especially so. Daily news was the number of deaths around the world. As a nation, Jamaica was not spared, but we saw the mercy of God in the ways we have never seen before. By March, there were island-wide lockdowns and restrictions that affected every sector, including churches, and how services were conducted. Is it any wonder then that the Lord gave us the theme for the second quarter, April to May, God is in charge. We were completely dependent on him for what was no new territories for most of us. Everything was now going virtual or via the internet, from christening to weddings to funerals and in between activities like school and work. Google Classroom and work from home was the world that soon will find their place in the dictionaries. To say, to we, say were we were unprepared were. would be an understatement, but God. As a church, we are eternally grateful to God for his divine intervention. Amidst fears, misunderstandings, and being unsure of the way forward, we kept our eyes focused on the Lord. In the third quarter, July to September, our theme from the Lord was the unchanging God. If there was ever a time we needed that, it was then. All around us was change, change, change. Job losses or shorter work hours, school lockdown, wash, sanitize, wear masks, and keep social distance was the prevailing conversation everywhere. The leadership of the church continually sought the Lord for directions. Along the way, there were mishaps and missteps, but we overcame and the church moved on. Who am I as we enter the last quarter of 2020? This was the question asked of the church as our theme. Coming to the close of such seemingly turbulent period, it was an appropriate question from the Lord. Were we able to overcome because we knew who we were as defined by him or had we allowed ourselves to be defined by our unstable circumstances? Each of us has to give our own answers. As a corporate body, we saw evidence of the manifestation of God through healings, provision, protection from the pandemic, and spiritual maturity, especially in the era of prayer. We may have felt there has been disruption and change to our lives as we knew it 
and indeed there was but it was very positive way God has used this pandemic to reveal his heart and our hearts and I believe we are better for the experience all through this time ministries and their leaders continue their programs by finding creative ways to meet their needs both physically and spiritually the continued work on the building in the readiness of its opening and dedication supplied energy and kept us focused and provided some normalcy and times of togetherness we were able to meet the deadline of december 13th thanks to the trade men planning and the many hands that came on board we are on the brink of 2021 and though we are still navigating the waters of 2020, God says it is time. This is the theme for the quarter, January to March 2021. And the church year focus is prayer, empowerment, evangelism, restoration. You look at it, we can see the word peer. Together with the focus, the theme suggests movement shift and readiness to be a part of God's next move. Prayer for empowerment to evangelize and restore. Prayer will always be the driving force behind every platform of ministry. In spite of the onslaught of the pandemic, the leadership and ministries continue to serve the membership and community. Of course, by the end of March, most activities were virtual or online. There are some highlights that I now want to give for the year 2020. So let's go to the care group ministry. There are 17 care groups and all are functioning in some degree. These groups and their leaders have served to keep members together and have been effective in keeping the pastorate aware of needs among the saints. Children ministry. The children were not left behind. After a pause in their meetings, they resumed online. Among their activities were hosting visitors from the Logos Bookship, presenting a very successful virtual family concert and the baptism of two children. One person was added to the staff and that's Atalia McDonald. Evangelism ministry. As part of the church's evangelistic effort, every fourth Sunday was dedicated to evangelism. This meant that the old service was geared towards soul winning. There were also designated prayer walks and track distribution. With the coming of COVID, the ministry had to rethink some of their plans. Greater emphasis was placed on evangelizing home, work, and other spheres of influence. The use of WhatsApp and other social media platforms became useful tools to make and maintain contact with our members. In spite of their difficulties, souls were saved and baptized. In October, the church had its first virtual crusade and we give God thanks. The family ministry. The weekly prayer of focus praying for families continued from 2019. In our back to school endeavor, grants were provided for PEP students and items for school were donated to all students. In recognition of November as parent month, there were a presentation on parenting boys. The evening of the last Sunday in November, was dubbed games night and children were encouraged to treat their parents in special ways in april under the guidance of pastor war a few features was presented called the mind series managing in crisis navigating distress this was an effort to offer holistic solutions to the well-being of members may coping with the now. July, upskilling in the now. And August, parenting 
in the now navigating the return to school. For the couples, the year started with a presentation on restoring our marriages for God's glory. Meetings continued on Zoom and the attendance more than doubled. Every session offered opportunities to reflect on marriages and find ways to improve an institution that is important for the growth and development of the church and society. The single continued their meetings, which are usually very vibrant and interactive. Monthly topics for discussion included love in active, single but not injured, and broken to be blessed. As part of the church's Mind Series presentation, Managed in Crisis, Navigating Distress, Pastor Meloniawa presented on the topic, Mental Strength. The highlight of the year for the singles was a virtual sip and talk singles conference. Information Technology Ministry. The audiovisual department was tasked with keeping church Everyone had to learn on the job as online church via the internet had become the order of the day. Along with Zoom and new feature, they had to become our main source of communication and contact among the saints. Thanks to the mammoth effort of the IT department, we are now live streaming on YouTube, on Facebook, live during our Sunday morning and other services. Our Christmas production was premiered on YouTube on December 23rd. It was a success. As a result of our internet presence, we were being able to reach a worldwide audience. Our YouTube subscribers now stands at 361, Facebook followers 1,654, Instagram 216 followers. We are able to receive tithes, offering, and donation online. Intercessor Ministry. The ministry has grown over the years. There are now two groups of intercessors as several persons have expressed desire to give more time to prayer. Using Zoom for virtual meetings has given us an open door for prayer. There's no prayer on Facebook Live every Tuesday at midday, first and third Tuesday night at 7.30, second and fourth Monday night, and every first Saturday each month at 7 a.m. in the morning. There's an active prayer line and the audiovisual team has been very helpful in coordinating requests per request from online viewers. Men's Ministry A very successful year for the men in spite of the pandemic. Through the Big Brother Project, BBP, they were able to complete their two major projects for 2020. The refining of the church per meter wall and the paving of the churchyard and driveway. They also assisted the church and community members in house repairs. These activities contributed to the fellowship of brothers and community men. In September, the ministry was able to successfully have their Manpower 2020 service. This offered a showcase of gifts and talents among the group. Music Ministry. Previously, there were three separate entities, choir, music, and praise and worship. There have been some restructuring and renaming. The Music Ministry is now the umbrella ministry comprising of Tehila, U Choir, Musicians, and Praise and Worship. Training including voice was emphasized during this year to enhance excellency in ministry as members were not able to meet in person for rehearsals. There were possible recordings were made to facilitate some Zoom sessions. The praise team is comprised of 18 members and are divided into four groups. There are two additional 
to the group. The ministry must be recognized for its effort during the early days of the pandemic. Along with the IT ministry, they worked extremely hard to ensure we had services every Sunday. I want to say that again, they worked extremely hard for us to have service every Sunday. Pastors Care Ministry. As a result of the pandemic, the workload was increased for our pastors. The ministry continues to give support wherever possible by taking off some of the workload. More than anything else, the team carries the pastors in prayer. As a result of the support of this ministry, the pastors are able to give a time to seeking innovative ways to provide sustenance and care to the wider church. Public Relations and Hospitality Ministry and Usher Board. This ministry continues to serve the church and visitors through hospitality acts. It also keeps the church informed of local and international activities. Ushers must be commended for being the gatekeepers of being vigilant in caring for attendees to each service. Senior citizen and welfare. The director worked hard to keep in touch with seniors, making sure they had prescriptions filled, made calls for them, supplied phone cards, and other food and other essentials. One of our faithful seniors went to be with the Lord, that sister Hockley. Senior Citizens Week was celebrated in September and members fed and given tokens. Throughout the year, we tried to meet needs of the church and community members, especially during the pandemic. Sports Ministry. The pandemic curtailed many plans for this ministry, but they refused to be daunted. The current tips provided exercise and other health-related tips during quarantine. The climax of the year was a very successful virtual sport evening. The energy and excitement displayed was just as fervently and invigorating as if it were on a play field. Sunday School Ministry. Early in the year January, an outstation Sunday School started in the Swallowfield community. It grew to almost 30 persons, including adults, but face-to-face -face meetings had to be put on pause because of the pandemic. Regular Sunday School has continued via Zoom. There has been a significant increase in the number of teachers. We had a very successful online VBS with an average of 35 participants over a three-day period with four children accepting the Lord. The Sunday School had two Golden Text competitions which were held by virtual platform. Women's Ministry. 2020 has been a successful year for the Women's Ministry. As meetings continued via Zoom, the numbers increased because women were now able to participate irrespective of their location. Using the internet has resulted in a greater level of communication among the women. During the height of the quarantine period, the women were able to organize and execute a successful Bible quiz competition among their membership. The year's highlight was their Women's Fellowship Day in November, where they were reminded that they were changed to be a change. Youth and Young Adults Ministry. Yahweh continued its meeting and activities via WhatsApp and Zoom. Highlighted activities for the year were Empowerment Week where one person accepted Jesus and was baptized and the passing on of the baton. Galen Williams and Janelle Wall were appointed youth directors in place of Brandon and Jadel Wall, who relocated to another parish. With the help of other members of the church, 
They also facilitated the placing of a pedestrian crossing in the vicinity of the church entrance. The ministry continues to strive and the leadership of the members have made themselves a valuable support for the church. Overall church report for year ending December 2020. Baptized in water, eight. Filled with the Holy Ghost, six. Added to the church, 13. Transferred in, eight. Transferred out, one. Shut in, five. Babies dedicated, eight. Persons attended New Covenant Bible Institute, two. Members moved from community because of violence, five. Vis visitors to the church, 52. Word of our cast for Crusades, two. As your pastors, Timon and I are thankful to God for the growth we have seen in the church. The pandemic would have made the story a very different one, but God has remained faithful to us. All our leaders stepped up to the plate when it matters, and together we have been able to make 2020 a successful year. We give God all the glory. We continue to stay the course by the grace of God. We will continue to serve you as long as God allow us. Thank God for the children, Brandon and Janelle, who supported us in ministry. They themselves are serving in ministry. We love you all deeply and appreciate your support and your prayers. Looking forward to 2021, a year focused in prayer, empowerment, evangelism, and restoration. As we pray, we are empowered to evangelize and bring restoration. As was said before earlier, for our theme for January to March 2021 is, it is time. Are you ready? God bless you. Thank you for joining us. We were so happy that you could join us in our Sunday morning service. We hope you were blessed. Each week, new videos are uploaded to inspire and encourage you. Please remember to follow us on social media. Like, share, and subscribe. We would love to hear from you. Let us know in the comments below how this message has encouraged you. We are praying for you and your family. See you next week. God bless you.